Hello friends, today we are going to solve CBSE class 10th maths exercise 4.1 question number 2. Represent the situations in the form of quadratic equations. So here we are going to solve these few sums and we have to make just we have to make quadratic equation out of that. We don't have to solve them. If it is necessary, we will solve that. Let, look here, let us start. Question number 1. The area of a rectangular plot is 528 meters square. The length of the plot is one more than twice its breadth. We need to find the length and the breadth of the plot. So what they are telling the area is 528 and the length of the plot is one more than twice its breadth. So we have to suppose breadth is equals to x. And what about length? Look here. They told that length is one more than twice its breadth. One more and twice its breadth. So twice its, its breadth will be 2x and still one more. That's why plus 1. So every time whenever anything is given on the base of other. Means the length is given on the basis of breadth. So we have to suppose the breadth has x. What students are taking? They are taking length as x and they are finding other things. So here we have, we have to suppose breadth as x and then we have to find the length that is length is 2x plus 1. Now the, they said the area is 528. So we know that length into breadth is equals to area of rectangle. So here 2x plus 1 into x is equals to 528. Now multiply this x with both the number is it is binomial and multiplying binomial with monomial. So here and then here. So 2 into x square 2x square plus 2 into uh, sorry x into 1 x is equals to 528. Now take this 528 on this side 2x square plus x minus 528 is equals to 0. So this will be our quadratic equation. Here they said we need to find the length and the breadth of the plot. Actually in heading they mentioned that we have to just form this and if you want to find out the value of x by splitting the middle term or by quadratic you can find out that also. I can help you with this. Uh, what you have to do you have to find out the prime factors of this 528 and then you have to multiply 2 with that and then you have to take it separately so you will get the middle term splitting. I can directly tell you that if you will split you will get plus 33x and minus 32x so this directly i am giving you but you have to solve up to this only now moving towards question number two the product of two consecutive integers is 306 we need to find the integers so they said two product of two consecutive integers so we have to suppose first integer is equals to x and consecutive means the next number so if, if uh, 1 is 4 the second will be 5 so that 5 is 1 greater than 4 every time it is happening like that so second number our second integer will be x plus 1 greater than the first one so x plus 1 now they say the product is 306 so x multiply with x plus 1 is equals to 306 now multiply again this is monomial and this is binomial x into x x square x into 1 x and equals to 306 now take this 306 here x square plus x minus 306 is equals to 0 so now you got your quadratic equation now moving toward question number 3 Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. The product of their ages 3 years from now will be 360. We would like to find Rohan, Rohan's present age. So what we are going to suppose? We want to find out this. So suppose that is x. Suppose Rohan's age, r's age is equals to x. And his mother is 26 years older than him. So mother's age will be x plus 26. Now 
the product of their ages after three years from now. So age after three years, age after three years. This we have to keep in mind. They said the product of their ages three years from now. From now means after three years. So now Rohan's age will be R's age will be x plus three new age and new age of mother will be x plus 26 plus 3 that will be x plus 29 these are the new ages now they said the product so product means we have to find out uh, we have to multiply Rohan's age with mother's age and the product is 360 now again this is binomial and this is also binomial so first we will multiply x with both the number x square plus 29x then we will multiply 3 with both these numbers so plus 3x plus 29 3 is 3 is 27 87 is equal to 360 now x square and addition of this will become 32x plus 87 minus 360 equals to 0 so this will become x square plus 32x minus 273 will be the answer I think equals to 0 so now this is your quadratic equation moving towards the last question question number 4 a train travels a distance of 480 km at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 8 km per hour less, then it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. We need to find the speed of the train. This is one of the most important question. This question is frequently asked in board examination. So please careful look here how you have to solve. I am solving by method you also have to do the same thing every time when you are solving this type of sum you have to draw figure and solve this how look here this is the distance we know the distance is 480 kilometer and we have to suppose the speed of the normal speed of the train that is x so this is and you have to write in the denominator part that is x kilometer per hour now they are telling if the speed had been 8 km less again the same distance that is 480 km but now the time speed has decreased the speed less so decreased so we have to subtract x minus 8 now this is your distance this is your speed of normal now they said the speed decrease this is new speed so now in both the condition time will be different they said it would have taken three hours more to cover the same distance in this they had told us that three hours more is there means if it is taking to 10 hours then the, at this time that train is taking 13 hours so this is greater uh, this time is greater than this take it as time 2 take, his, take it as time 1 now we know this is greater and this is smaller so greater minus smaller time sorry t2 minus t1 equals to what is the difference here 3 hours so that will be 3 now how to find time we know time is equal to distance upon speed so what will be your t2 480 upon x minus 8 instead of t2 480 upon x minus 8 and instead of t1 time 1 this is time 1 that is distance upon speed equals to 3 now this is the basic thing that you have to do first. Now you have to solve and form a quadratic equation that also I will explain. Now here the denominator here it's x minus 8 and this is x. So we have to take out LCM. We have to multiply x with both this and x minus 8 with both this number. So now do it 480x minus now this is minus 480 so minus 480x minus minus plus 0 8 8 is 64 6 8 8 32 38 3 8 4 0 upon this also multiplication x square and minus 8x 
equals to 3. This both will get cancelled and you will get 3840 is equals to 3 into x square minus 80. Now directly you can divide this with 3. So take this 3 here. 3840 by 3 is equals to x square minus 8x. You can cancel these 3 1s, 2s, 8s and 0s. So your equation will be 0 is equals to x square minus 8x minus 1 to 8 0. So this is your quadratic equation for this sum. Now you can solve in other sum you have to solve but here up to this only you have to do. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it please subscribe to my channel so that I can bring more such videos. Thank you so much.